Um, so my portfolio so far looks a bit like this. So I have like a bit of a picture at the top, a bit of text, another kind of, it's a PDF actually, of different documents, picture, then another kind of PDF. And when I click on this, it opens up the particular thing. Uh, this will show like the PDF thing that I did. So this is like an example of my work. What I can do is quite fancy. What I can do to help with the reflection is this. So when I'm editing a particular thing, I can go edit. And it, this little thing here is really nice, the story behind this work. So I can say, actually, this is something that I did that I produced to help others reflect in data. Um, I use a pro so you can just tell us I can use a program. Hardest part of this, so I could do a bit of reflection there if I want to. And press done, and there it is. So it tells me my little story on the side. But when I go back to my portfolio at the top, it puts that little story on top of the um, artifact, which is quite nice. That sort of helps that reflective piece. The second thing I want to show you is called categories. So if you're editing the whole portfolio, it's the edit button at the top, you have options. So I can change the layout, patchwork bricks. I can change the theme a little bit. Uh, but categories are the most important thing. So for ones at school, what we're going to do at the moment, this is for Dover High School, is in edit my categories. And you can make lots of these. But we're going to use these ones. So academics, service. So you can change the colors and which colors go with all these later as well. PSE, home. and press save. They all come up down the side. And so what to do next though is that is if, if this one here is to do with my activities, if I click on activities, this little green things come up and I can click on the ones that relate to this tag, that label. So this one does, so with my photography ECA and to do with that one there does. So they've both got that kind of tag. I can add, add other ones too if this was actually outdoor education. You know, I can add that as a second, if that kind of makes sense. And add that one like that as well. Press done. So now I've got these nice little labels at the top. And so when I click on this, it filters the whole portfolio based on the tag. So this is showing me the two things which I labeled as. You can see the little labels down the corner that I label with that particular thing. Or I just go all and it shows me back to my original, uh, my original look. So there's lots of things you can do around in here. So have a bit of a play around according to what you want to do. And when you've got your little, when you've got your things, you can drag things around, like make that quite small on that side. Put it as another picture there. It's a little bit fiddly. Put there, maybe why don't you put that on this side over here. So let me do that. Push that across down there. I can make that longer. I can do lots of different things with it. Yeah, so that's the sort of the main part about both adding comments to your portfolio, so adding those kind of the story behind the artifacts, and then being able to label things using categories.